A lot of students have this question. Are CBSE class 12 compartment exam difficult than the regular CBSE board examination? So in this video, I will be giving you the answer to this question. And let me tell you, the compartment exam is taken by students who have failed in one subject in the CBSE board examination. And this compartment examination is generally held in the month of July every year. But this year, due to COVID-19, the uh, compartment exam will be postponed and will be held in the month of August or September. However, the exact date has not been announced yet by the CBSE board. Let me tell you, the compartment exam is sadly difficult than the regular board examination. You might ask for the reason why it is difficult. The reason is very simple. You are giving the CBSE board examination for the second time for the same subject. So if, 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 if there is no difficulty level, there is no difference in the difficulty level between the CBSE board examination and the compartment examination, then it will be showing partiality to other students who have written the board examination. So since you're writing this board examination for the second time, your level of questions will be much difficult compared to those who have written the regular board examination. So that this difference is there because you are you already know how the CBSE board examination is conducted and you've already taken the exam for that su subject. So since you're taking it for the second time, the difficulty of compartment exam will be definitely higher than the regular board examination. And you must understand, this is your second chance for writing the same board examination for that same subject. So let's say you got the compartment exam for mathematics. You have already written the mathematics examination once and you know how to write the board examination, right? So that's why the difficulty level is increased so that the CBSE will not show any partiality to other students who have already given the board examination. And most of the questions which will come for the compartment exam are from reference books and higher order thinking skills questions, HOTS questions. So those questions are not direct questions from the NCRT textbook. So you cannot expect to score good marks if you only go to the examination hall by reading the NCRT textbook alone. The fact is a lot of students who have got compartment examination, they write the compartment examination and they fail again the compartment examination. Only few percentage of students pass the compartment examinations because the dif difficulty level of compartment exam is higher than the regular CBSE board examination. And you will only get the pass certificate from the CBSE board if you pass that compartment exam for the failed subject. So you have to write the compartment exam and wait for the results. And once you get the results, you will only get the pass certificate sent to you by the CBSE regional office. So you cannot escape writing the compartment exam because anyway, you have to write it in order to get the pass certificate. You can pass in all the other subjects, but you have to pass in this compartment exam fail subject in order to get the pass certificate from the CBSE board. And if you have additional subject, let's say you have six subjects, then you don't necessarily have to write the compartment exam for two fail subjects. You have only one fail subject if you have compartment. So you only have to write the compartment exam for that main subject which you failed, and you don't have to give the examination for that additional subject. Six subject is not considered for compartment. The CBSE has not yet released the dates for the compartment exam this year, but as soon as it is released, you will get that information. If you have any other questions, leave it down in the comment section below this video so that I will be able to help you out.